personally, I'm excited about this next piece of functionality. It is enhancements to the 3D connection 3D mouse, right? So what we've done is we added the ability to have profiles for um, Design X inside of the 3D connection 3D mouse um, um, plugin. So if I hit the button on my mouse here, and let's get this open here on this screen. So now it has for Design X a profile. Mine is a pretty old model, so you see it's discon uh, discontinued um, support for it, but it works just the same. Uh, one of the things uh, beyond just having a profile for Design X that's even more important is the fact that when you do come in to customize, um, you have the ability here, and I have the I have done some things in this uh, for testing purposes and just to kind of change my workflow now that this supports it. So in this instance here, I have the R button set to turn meshes on and off. So not only do we have a profile, but look, we have commands, shortcut commands from Design X that you can select and assign to these buttons, right? So if you wanted to set a button to open up Legacy Boundary Fit, you do that all the time. You can just click a button and it will automatically run that. And the same thing goes for all of these other things, undo, redo, file, open, capture screen, all these help button, insert, all kinds of different tools here. You can assign them to the different uh, buttons, which I absolutely love. And then of course, not only that, we updated the ability, you know, just the functionality with how the mouse works. And um, and I've even set some of the buttons to automatically. So if I wanted to zoom to fit, some of those are default, right? So all of that stuff um, we've updated so it's a little more smooth in the way it works inside of Design X. So... That is the 3D Connection 3D Mouse Updates.